Tesla full self-driving is not ready for snowy conditions. We've all seen how flawless Tesla FSD is in sunny places like California, but here in the north, it fails miserably. But wait, there's one moment that impressed me. When I attempted the 060 on snow and ice, you won't believe what happened. Comment below, do you think Tesla FSD failed three times, five times, or more than 15 times in this 15 minute drive? Stick around to find out if you were right. It might surprise you. We had a big snowstorm last night and my car is fully snowed in. I'll start FSD right where I parked my car last night. The car needs to drive out and break away from the snow first. Oh, there you go. First intervention right there. 10 seconds in, that's gotta be a record. I didn't even get to blink once before the first FSD failure. So let's add that onto the scoreboard. We're gonna take over. Hopefully Tesla redeems itself. There's a turn coming up filled with snow. Okay, it's losing traction. Ooh. Well, that was short lift. It's been less than a minute and that's failure number two. So let's add that onto the scoreboard. I understand it's hard for AI, but even as a human driver, you can barely see any curbs or anything. So you would have to be driving on roads that you already have driven before. Okay, a little bit of tailspin there, but not too bad. Whoa, <laughs> deep snow and parked cars. FSD does know how to keep it exciting. We got a parked truck ahead. Let's see what FSD does. Okay, good job FSD. It's giving the truck and those guys some space, which is good, finally, something it does right. Whoa, there it goes again. Honestly, if I didn't have winter tires, I wouldn't even have attempted to make this video. You got a right turn coming up here. Need to break way in advance and then creep slowly. So it is going slow. It's not going at full speed, which is nice. It is a red light, so it's... I had to slam on the brakes. It, that was so bad in icy conditions like this not only did it not stop for those red lights and uh, look out for the car that was coming from the left in um, in weather like this situations like that is critical because you can't just stop on a dime it's snowy icy and uh, mistakes like that can be fatal before i put the car back into fsd let me show you guys how much traction this car has in the winter thanks to the low center of gravity created by the heavy batteries underneath us it grips the snow and ice like no other car it's a red light so going from a 20 so this is me just doing little corrections here and there but there you go that's how fast it is so it's not like the car has really bad traction it's just fsd does not seem to recognize that you need to you there's lane lines but the in when it when it snows a lot like today you need to be following these tracks that other cars have made before you when i come to a full stop at a red light i'll show you guys what the zero to 60 looks like on top of snow and ice with the tesla it is incredible so stay tuned again needs to follow the tracks it's it's going to almost hit a curb i have to take over because it was gonna hit the curb there Okay, so far this video isn't looking too well. It looks like FSD is definitely not ready for Canada, especially when it snows. Maybe when we have Chinooks here in Calgary and when everything melts away, FSD will be back to normal. But right now it is not doing a good job. Not too bad, needed to stay in that lane just chose the right lane there's a truck behind me it looks like the traction control took the day off but seriously though that's how I see the roads are today okay so there's two lanes here the left lane and the right lane the snow is so thick today neither the right curb or the median is visible at all I'll just expand this so you guys have a better view of what the car is actually thinking and doing again just driving me out of the road it needs to take that right. It is. That was so bad. It snowed so much that FSD wasn't able to see the right curb of the road. So it needed to stick all the way to the right and also be very slow in order to make that turn, which it didn't. So I missed the turn. 
I mean, I didn't. FSD did. <sighs> okay, so it wants it wants to do a U-turn and come back and take this right again. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna let the car go into FSD again. Okay, so the Tesla wants to turn right here. You know what? I'm just gonna slow the speed down here so that it stops making those mistakes. It needs to take that right. It is not taking that right. Like, oh man. The amount of interventions in this video. All right. So left turn here, gonna go into FSD again. The car seems to be doing well with left turns. So let's see if, if it does well with this left turn. Okay. Again, just goes into the right lane. <laughs> to be fair, it's not a double left turn, but still. Okay, left turn again. Needs to slow down. I do have snow tires, but it's still very hard to come to a full stop in these snowy conditions. Especially if you have an all-wheel drive Tesla, you get the false sense of how much traction you have on the road. Okay, accelerating again. Left turn, taking it well. Coming in too fast. Ah. Oh. Came in too fast, too fast for that turning. It was full full of ice. It needed to be way slower than that. To be fair, the cars, even the cars behind us are not doing well. But again, like these are things that FSD needs to learn because you need to be slow with those turnings there. Oh man, it's just, it's not following any sort of lane here. It thinks, it, it thinks that there's more lanes on the left here, which is just, uh, it's so awful. In Calgary, they use sand and rock chips on the road when it snows. So if you're not following the tire tracks left by other cars and you're just um, riding on top of snow or center on top of snow, just like FSD was doing, you're just throwing rock rocks behind the person who's following you. So you're gonna get a lot of curses and you're gonna get a lot of these from people. So FSD still has lots, lots of, lots of ways to go before it gets perfected for here, people here in Canada. Okay. Oh man. Just giving me heart attacks every 10 seconds. Okay, we're coming to a full stop now. We don't have anyone in front of us, so we can do the zero to 60. I want to show you guys how good the acceleration on the Tesla is. I'm going to traction. I'm going to control my own traction. I'm going to switch that off for a bit. And we're going to do a zero to 70, which is the speed limit here. So this is how much traction the car has. Just zero to 60, just like that. That was about two to three feet of snow that has been cleared and there was ice underneath. And that's still, that still, that's how good the acceleration is on the Model 3s or any Tesla all-wheel drives. Even with trucks, I'm telling you, like there's been times when trucks stare, uh, like stare down into my car and they just, they're just amazed on how the Tesla was ahead of them in weathers like this in terms of acceleration. All right, so we are getting into the highway on ramp here. Speed limits uh, is 60, but again, you gotta drive according to conditions. We got a little bit of a curb coming here. I'm gonna slow down enough and let Tesla do its thing. All right, so it does seem to recognize that there is some sort of a lane. Again, it's going way too fast, way too fast. We are getting into the highway right now, so let's see how Tesla FSD does with snow in the highway. Let's see how it merges into the highway. I don't know why I said freeway. It's not like we're in the US. So 100 is the limit. Oh man, this FSD sucks. Okay, so the left lane is really good. We're, I don't know why it's choosing to stay on, stop, uh, on top of snow. Finally, we can see some lane lines. The car sees that as well. And I think we're gonna stay on this lane. Again, it's just going way off. I'm gonna indicate and in changing lanes and I'm gonna see what the car does. Again, thankfully there isn't any cars behind us. 
So I'm gonna let it, let it do its thing. Can you? there you go. Okay. Perfect. Stay on this lane. Seems like they have cleared two lanes in the highway here. The wiper keeps going off because every time I put it into FSD, it automatically goes into from off to auto like that. So every time you need to switch it off if you're not using it. It's changing lanes to get into the faster lane. It, at least it says it is. We got lots of cars merging in. Thankfully, we are in the leftmost lane with no one behind us. Oh, there is a lane here, but if we, I guess they didn't clean that lane. It is trying to get back to its lane there, but oh man, nope. At this point, no one is following the lane lines, even the cars behind us. They're just following the tracks that other cars have left behind. So I'm going to do that as well. Tesla doesn't seem to recognize that. I'm going to put it back into autopilot. Ah. Honestly, at, at these speeds, I'm not going to really push the car too much. I'm going to only put it into autopilot when I really trust it. So we have lane lines back again. I'm going to put it into FSD. Okay, right. Taking a right. Way too fast for conditions like this. Choosing right fork to stay on route. It is not... There is no right fork in these conditions. There's usually two lanes here, but the left lane is barely visible. Here in Canada, we play the game of guess where the road is every single day. Ooh. That was, I was going way too fast. Oof. The Tesla's low center of gravity and also the heavy batteries underneath us coupled with the winter tires that I have saved my back there. If this was any other car, it would have ended really badly. I would have tried FSD, but there was way too many cars coming. I didn't want to risk it. FSD feels very risky honestly and after this drive that I took in these conditions with FSD I'm so hesitant into using FSD anymore. I'm gonna let it go into FSD again. Tesla does not seem to care that there's about two lanes here it's just driving on the middle of the road. Maybe with these cars coming up in front it will. Going way too fast way too fast I'm gonna I was gonna take over, but it seems the car recognized that it needs to brake. It is going to overtake this car on the left here. It was way too close. There's so, there was so much space on the right there. Tesla is just having a hard time tracking where the curve is. We got a right turn coming up. Again, the car needs to slow down. It's okay, slow way down. We got ABS taking over. <laughs> not bad, not bad. So we arrived at our destination and that's the end of the drive. If you guessed 15 fails, you were the closest. It actually failed about 13 times. Tesla's FSD still has a long way to go, especially in snowy cities like this. It is nowhere near level 3 autonomy here in Canada. You can watch this video next. I test Tesla's actual smart summon in a snow covered parking lot and have my Tesla drive to me as I stand in front of the grocery store. You'll either be amazed or amused. Probably both. Just click here. And if you're thinking about trying FSD yourself, say no more. When you click the link in the description, you get a massive cash discount as well as three months of FSD when you buy your first Tesla.